Thanks for joining me on this episode of Healthy Urban Lifestyle. On this segment, I just wanted to show you how to make a black bean mango salsa. Um, it's summertime, it's beautiful weather out. This is a great summer salad to keep in the fridge. There's a variety of ways you can eat it. We're having it tonight with fish tacos, and I'll show you that at the end. You could have this with grilled chicken, grilled tofu, you could have it on a sandwich and a pita on a salad. So it's a really great refreshing salad that everyone seems to enjoy. And um, it's very simple to make. So I have a can of black beans right here. And there you go. Um, and you want to drain these and rinse them as Matt, Matt helped me out with this one. He said, what's all that weird liquid stuff? So you want to drain and rinse the black beans. Then I have a one mango cut up diced up and I try to dice everything when I make a salsa you want to try and get all the pieces to be of uniform size and shape so that it all like blends together really nicely and holds together like a real salsa would. This is one plum tomato nicely diced up and you go. I had this with fried fish before and you could put it on a burger that would be delicious. So many different this is half of a small red onion, but I mean, red onions come really large too. So whatever your taste preference is, um, I don't want the onion to be too overpowering, so it's a half of a really small one. This is about two tablespoons of chopped up cilantro. There you go. Stack them in order. And because Matt likes it spicy, this is a jalapeno jalapeno pepper. And um, I took out the white stuff in the seeds because that makes it extra spicy and I don't like too much spice. And when you're working with jalapeno, just remember to wash your hands immediately after because the spiciness in the pepper will stay on your hands. You don't want to touch your skin or your face or anything. So in you go. And then I want to add uh, fresh lime. Whenever I say lime or lemon juice in a recipe, it's always going to be... Um, Actually, I'm not getting too much juice out of this one. Good thing I have three cut up. It's always going to be fresh. I don't really like the, the bottled lemon juice, bottled lime juice. It has a weird flavor to me. So I always go with the fresh stuff if you can. If you can't, no big deal, but make it fresh first. Let's get some more of this lime. Not too juicy. Really testing my strength here. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> You're quiet today, Matt. Are you hungry? Uh, yeah, now I am. Seeing all of this, I'm really hungry. I know all of you are trying that boiled chicken, so that's a great one to try. Uh, you, you got this salad on hand, mixed together with that boiled chicken. All right, nice and juicy. I'm gonna add a little olive oil. extra flavor, um, some salt, and some pepper. I love the colors in this too, it's just beautiful. I've served this with pulled barbecued chicken, I'm just going to stir it all together. And there you have it, that was pretty easy, right? So. I hope you give this black bean mango salsa a try and enjoy it in a variety of ways. Thanks for joining me and let me know if you have any questions or any requests at all. See you soon.